All right, hello everyone. It's been a little while since I last uploaded a video, but I have Silent Night 5820XL test number three. So, we will start by looking at the notification appliances because I actually have a uh, little bit of a fun setup for you. If we look at our devices, the Wheelock NS is in the same place as it was before. Nothing has changed there. If we look up above, we actually have my Wheelock E70 up here. So, I'll be doing a uh, setup I've been kind of wanting to do for a little bit where I have a horn strobe and speaker strobe sounding together. So, the voice panel here is going to be hooked up. I have it set to do the slow whoop tone as well as the default fire message. So you will be hearing that as well as the NS going off. Um, if we go down to the pull stations, we have my Firelight BG-12L on the left, and on the right we have a Firelight BG-10. So a nice Firelight setup for today. Same carbon monoxide detector. Smoke detectors, I can't remember. If, uh, yeah, these are the same as they were last time. Um, but it's the two addressable detectors, model SK Photo, as well as a System Sensor 2400. So, these strobes are going to be synchronized, and uh, actually before we get started, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, microphone. So, there's a microphone, kind of bad lighting, but attention please, we'll be testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard any alarms you see or hear until further notice. Thank you for your cooperation. Just... Pretty simple little message. Close that up. And we'll make some noise. I think we'll start with the BG-10. It's one of those things that it, it sounds cool, but it is also kind of obnoxious, so there it is. The audible silence is really cool on this, not going to lie. Alright, so now one thing I am going to show is I am going to uh, flip up this manual evac switch, and it's just going to start playing the message again, so... Shut that off. All right. Next, we are going to set off the 2400. Now, this is going to be a little bit less time with alarms going off just because it's kind of late at night. But here we go. Chuck for it. Finally, we'll go ahead and pull the uh, BG-12. Alright. So, I'm going to get out my firelight key. Whatever it is here on my key ring. There it is.
And I'm gonna grab my screwdriver. I like that this VG10 has a uh, normal Phillips head screw on it instead of the regular hex screw, because it makes it quite a bit easier to reset. There it is. See the model number there? Set the system. I guess while I wait for it to reset, I'll go ahead and uh, make another announcement here indicate that the test is done. May I have your attention please? Testing of the fire alarm system has been completed. Thank you for your cooperation during this matter and have a great day. Oh. Put that back there. Sorry the light level isn't very good. I know you couldn't see that very well but there it is. Fire VEC 2550X. 5820 is back to normal. And we're all reset. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to check out the links in the description. Once again, I apologize that I haven't uploaded in over a month at this point. Life's been kind of busy lately. So, yeah, I'll get this out to you as soon as possible. Take care, everyone.